This is Fan First Network. So, honest thoughts after the game, bro. Well, what can I say besides same shit, different day? Well, at least I expected to us to lose. Did you expect us to lose? Because yes. I thought we, <laughs> any logical TFC fan, the smartest TFC fans, are the ones that didn't come here, unlike me and you <laughs> and everyone else here. They're the ones that stayed at home and bet against us. They bet on, they bet on these Atlas guys over here. And, uh, yeah, well, I don't know why I was even here in the first place. Just for the vibes, honestly. <laughs> Yo, man, we've gone over 600 minutes uh, without scoring a goal. Uh -huh. So what do you think we can do to figure things out? We have a big break coming out, so keep that in mind. Do you think that will be beneficial for us, or do you think it will hurt us a little bit? I don't even know if it will hurt us or benefit us in the first place. Cause I don't see any way we can change this team unless we start from the very top and getting rid of Bill Manning. Yeah. Because everyone from the top of the club, all the way to the players, so from management all the way to the players, everyone should be ashamed of himself this season. Especially the fact that we only have three wins. God knows how many draws and losses we have out, out of X amount of games that we played. And uh, there's no change at all. I mean, we got rid of Matt Hedges, possibly our best center back. I don't even know if, he was a very good center back back in the day for a Dallas, but obviously he's older now. We got rid of him, and I, I don't know what the game plan is really. What are like, what's the thought behind our like recent moves? We we got rid of Mark Anthony K. We brought in Latif Blessing, <laughs> so like I don't know like, is he a blessing in disguise? Like what's going on? Like I don't know what the you know what's the game plan right now. So so what should we do? Like what what do you want to see the the board or the team doing, uh, heading into the off season, right? Because because this season's pretty much done. Uh, what would you what would, what, do you, what changes do you want to see made? Well, if we're gonna get rid of Bill Manning, that would be my uh, yeah, my my number one uh, recommendation. If we're gonna keep with Bill Manning and the the whole crew that we have, the Italians, uh, I would recommend to get Mario Balotelli. Oh, okay. If uh, we're gonna keep the Italians, so like we have Insigne and Bernadeschi, they're both playmakers. They're not scorers. We don't have a solid striker up top. I'd say C.J. Sopong is a good backup option. Yeah. And we uh, brought, we got rid of Akinoli's on loan right now, so forget about him. Um, Balotelli would spice things up in the locker yeah. room. Balotelli would spice things up, and you would actually score goals. Yeah. At least I would think he would score goals. <laughs> he should, man. We see how Messi's banging in goals. In yeah. This, <laughs> this Realistically, just hoy him up the up top, put him up top, <laughs> and then you'll score. I don't know. We'll see how, what he, what he can do if he comes here. All right. And uh, last question for you: Your honest thoughts on the jersey? Do you like them, the pink ones? Um, I don't really like the pink jerseys, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like any of the jerseys this year. I don't like the, the home the home kit, the away kit. I don't, I don't I don't like this one either. It just it looks more like a circus. I don't know. I think the jerseys being bad is like a precursor to the season being bad. Um, so yeah. I'm not that surprised. Uh, and I did actually have one more for you. Mm -hmm. This whole competition, the League's Cup, where they stopped the season to do it. Um, do you think it's a good idea? Do you like this? I don't really mind it. I actually like the fact that we're playing more, uh, more Mexican teams, more Liga MX teams, because it brings a more interesting like sort of play style. Yeah. Like I found it more interesting to watch the Atlas team more than our team today, yeah. because we already know that our team same shit different day, like nothing special. <laughs> and the Atlas fans, credit to them, they they brought their you know a lot of them a came lot over, of them came a lot of them came over more than I expected. And even right now, like a few minutes ago, they, were, they all jumped up in here. Yeah. They went completely nuts. So I like the competition. Will it will happen, I don't know, next year or how long it's going to happen. I I like it. I think it's, be, it's best to stop the league now because <laughs> from the top of the board to the players, everyone should be happy that there's no relegation system in the MLS. Yes, yes. Because that would that would be a reason for them to actually play properly. Yeah. If there was a relegation system, all you guys, all you guys for listening to me, you guys are lucky that there's no relegation system in the MLS. If there was a relegation system in the MLS, all of us would be very, very pissed off right now, yeah. more than we are right now. So you guys are very lucky, very, very lucky. That is, that is very well said. And we have a 20 something day break. Mm -hmm. Hopefully uh, that message gets into the players and stuff. Exactly. I appreciate this, man. Thank you for coming out. This is Fan First Network.